little give goes now, trying to get the movement. As the mark's setting in again. Oh! <laughs> Mikey Hatfield, come on. <laughs> Make wow. it easy for AJ. <laughs> Swing it to the top sideline again. And back. Fishwick doing good use of the space. Overthrow, Tom Anderson. Cook now. He's looking, he wants to put it long. He's got absolutely no dump. Oh. Here he is, at least got this close sideline. No cuts coming. Pushing it back towards Cook. Again, there's no dump there for him. Tom Anderson providing an option. And he goes a big gain into the far side to Osborne. Lisk again providing a dump, but he clears through. Anderson with a little jinky up the line. He's surveying the options. Cook's going the far sideline, but Lisk gets the little up the line. There's no cuts into the space, though. Anderson provides something as a cut down the field and well overthrown there. That's a poor turnover this early in the game. I mean, Leesk is, is one of their better players. I'm sure he'll respond to it. But that's a poor turnover. They, they had done so well. Leesk included at charging up the line, being really aggressive. There were two or three up the line dump cuts that were on it. Um, I just don't think he needed to abandon the dump structure. I agree with you there, Andy. And we've seen it happen in previous games where teams are getting caught on that far sideline and trying to force the disc into the end zone. As fish. He, he, one of the 16s has a sleeveless, and then another 16 jumper is, isn't. I was like, <laughs> halfway through the point, did he like just <laughs> let the sleeves up? Or anyway, so now we're going to see Mammoth need to put uh, an upwinder in with their offensive line. Is that Chados? That was. Ah, good lad, Zach Chados. Looking for the early dump, Norton. Whoa, a lot of contact in the centre of the field there. That was his own team. It was friendly fire. He kind of got cannoned into. That's Spielman, Milo, and I can't see who the Fishwick defender is there. Sandbridge. So if you have a look, it's actually... Yeah, he gets pushed in. I mean, the fantastic D, first of all, at the front, and we... Do hope Milo's okay. Sandbridge had position on that defense. He had the well, he had the front position. It's just whether was the play dangerous, who had the line in that. Well, I don't think any of it would have. And obviously, he didn't mean to because it's his own player. But Spielman initiated the contact into his teammate, which then kind of he was the meat in the sandwich. You know what I mean? So. Hopefully he's okay. He does look like he's okay. He's going to be on his feet now, but I don't think there'll be a call. It'll, maybe an ankle or a knee is a bit a bit tender as he's getting carted off the field there. Well, look, the only two things I can think of, one is that Fish were thinking about kind of, you know, it's 5-1 now, you take half at 8. If they had called it at 6 or 7, I'd go, yeah, fair enough. The other thing is they've probably had their D-line on three points in a row. So maybe it's just about giving them a breather and making sure they can keep the uh, intensity up on, on Mammoth. Good pull received by Gaunt with Chodos now. Looks break side to Norton. He's got Spielman streaming deep. And he's, oh, uncharacteristic fumble on the far sideline from Kel Spielman. Fishwick getting the disc at, a, at about halfway. I mean, you said it with uncharacteristic. It's just kind of when something goes wrong, everything goes wrong. Cal usually really safe with his hands. You don't see that often. So Sandbridge being an absolute anchor for Fishwick yeah, right now. Beautiful inside. Nice break there to Shallard. And this is the patience that we've seen from Fishwick in their red zone. This has been the difference. How easy is that? Pachugi <laughs> scores the up line, gives it a nice big spike. And you were just talking about the patience there, Andy, and that's exactly what they just showed us. They were happy to take the, just the first open option. Yeah, just so much discipline in the stack, um, not letting Fishwick's defenders poach off, which means everyone else is playing one out. 